happy Wednesday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to let you know what we have coming in just a short time. Right now, you can see everything is lit up with so much going on, especially, especially the Dahlia over here. Going at 114 miles per hour, still moving north at 18 miles per hour. Still a beast of a system. Now, the question is, what do we have coming in the near future now that we're starting to go towards our peak of our season? Now, what I can see is that this is all about to quiet down. So one thing that's good news, it's not going to be back-to-back -back storms coming towards Florida or the coast anytime soon. So y'all have re time to recover from Idalia. But shortly after this, this is going to stay active in the MDR for a while. And all this is going to come back two more times. I see two more storms coming. Uh, one is coming some in this region right here. I will update you on that as well. But we have another one coming in the beginning of October that's going to be covering around the same region. And there is going to be a few that come out to Pacific. Also, with your winds, when you zoom in a little bit and you go to just the radar, you can see right here they're expecting still a Cat 1 hurricane all the way towards Savannah. So all the way to where it's at, everything within this is going to still be hurricane winds. Right now it's at 114 miles per hour sustained winds and it is moving north so it is going to go further into Georgia and into South Carolina as well so it is going to take that high road so I should be aware of that. Plus showing you tropical storm force winds goes all the way deep into North Carolina so all within this area is sustained winds of at least 39 miles per hour and then in all within this area is sustained winds of at least 74 miles per hour so just remember these two areas because that's how it's going to be going forth this is where the high wind gust is going to be just like H triple R saw probably a bunch of high 60s maybe even some spikes of 70s from time to time and all this is all going to be high uh, 50s high 40s and 50s now you still have chances for tornadoes for today you have a big two percent and you have a big five percent five percent is the pink and it's right along that edge so when this system keeps going north and it's eventually going to start fading and dissipating everything below it is just going to be a lot of chances for tornadoes so you got to watch for all these bands that whip across the shore i'm showing that's your highest best chance to get tornadoes for today okay a little information for you right now so far the power outages is at 160,000. matter of fact if i refresh it again 232,000 issues exponentially going faster all this area that has the hurricane force winds and remember that's all going to carry towards savannah so that whole area that i showed you now remember you never been here before you just click on your area it'll let you know which counties are out and it'll let you know which company is working on the power so that way if you see the county next to you starting to get a better color power is coming back then you know you're probably next now your tornado threat has increased for today you can see that here you have an enhanced section for today and then put out a 10 percent better chance for tornadoes right along that coast just like i showed you now we'll show you some more information on that you have the two percent the brown and five percent and you have the yellow and the ten percent and this is where i really see it the worst right here in this ten percent and the rainfall amounts has increased a huge strip of all this orange that's all going six to ten inches all the way across it's just going to just rip right across but a lot of rainfall also with the link for your rainfall and your wind gusts those are in the description below as well it was zoomable so you see how it's lit up now just like i just showed you and after this all this is going to quiet down all this region is going to just relax until september 10th the whole time this region is going to be having something coming on and eventually around september 10th something's going to come from the mdr that we need to watch for a, uh, a tropical wave we got another one coming late september maybe the first week of october as well big ones now that's going to go to the west and they're going to come in our area and we're going to have favorable environment and they're going to grow and be strong i'm going to give you the best way of timing if you've never been here before my subscribers knew a month ago on Idalia and others now you're going to know a month ago on what's coming in october now you can see here from your potential velocity anomaly according to GFS whether you have favorable or unfavorable environment, sinking air, rising air. You can see us. We are on a break, guys. A little bit going off in the MDR over here. But we are on a break all the way until September 15th, possibly. But it's going to start going back in that neutral phase around the 10th. Then it's going to be favorable. 
You can also see here on Cyclone locations, I can go into the skies, don't come back. Guys, there ain't nothing coming back. This is at 10 days now. We are on a break. But once we reach September 10th, we have something coming through this region. And then it's going to start maybe be the 15th. Start going towards either the southeast or maybe stay in the Caribbean. It's still too far, way too far to be sure. We can't even get a 50-50 analysis on anything. We do see that it will be something in this region in between the 10th and the 15th. And it will be going west-northwest. The intensity is just too far to take serious. I am literally at 14 days. But you also can see on your chance just for a tropical depression in six days. As we keep on going, you see the chances advance as you go towards September 10th. And it is moving to that west northwest. Now it could be a fish storm. That could be easy too. But it could also go to the coast. Because it's getting typical this time of year that they fling around towards the east coast. And it's still very warm waters. Now you can also see this on the Ural of the favorable or unfavorable environment that we have moving through. This is that break that we've been talking about. Y'all been knowing it's coming. It's here. This is going to be right after this hurricane. That's going to be it for a, for a while. Then once we get to the, maybe the September 13th, showing something. But once you follow it from September 12th through sep September 17th, all that unfavorable environment is going to start shifting to the east and it's going to be in that neutral phase kind of like when your temperatures where you're not above average not below average you're at your average temperature it would be about our average anomaly pulling through but once we go towards the 17th of september towards the 22nd of september it's going to start moving a little bit to the east and it's going to keep doing that and once you get to the 22nd through the 27th really strong favorable environment moving through and as you keep on going all the way from to the October 2nd, all the way to October 7th, and then it starts weakening down around October 12th. But it's going to be really strong as we go through September 27th through October 2nd. A lot of lift, a lot of favorable environment for storms to grow. So when you look at the long range of the Euro, then you can start making sense of everything that I try showing you. If you've been enjoying this, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. So if you look up here for a favorable or unfavorable or sinking air or rising air motion, all the blue, that we're going into nothing. Now, if you've never been here before, Lesser Antilles is 60W, all the way to zero is towards Africa, the main development region. Now, we're going to be in the main development region or less, slowly going away from it from now on, no more storms, all the way to September 7th. Then they'll start going towards September 10th and 15th. And we're going to have favorable environment all the way from the MDR, all the way to the Eastern Caribbean, all the way to Central America right here. Central America is also Western Caribbean. Central America is also right by the Gulf. So right here, there's going to be a serious storm, powerful storm, probably like what we have now. Around September 16th, from September 14th, through September 17th, we're going to have another strong anomaly, just like I showed you this a while back. Now we have Idalia. We got another one here, and we got another one, exact same location, building up really strong the first week of October. It says October 6th, so let's just say from the 4th through 7th in that region. Then we also have a few that's going to pop up in the Eastern Pacific, especially a very strong one. It looks like the strongest one so far all the way until the middle of October. We'll be in the Eastern Pacific at the very beginning of October. This could curve around to the Southwest as well, so we should keep our eye on this and for Hawaii as well. Now where the tornado chances have increased, you can see here with HRRR as that rips all evening long, all the way to tonight, two o'clock in the morning, three, four, times up here. This is Central Time, by the way. Remember, y'all are, are before me. Now an updraft for Lissy, I, see, I don't see too much on the hail, but right where we saw the strengthening, there is some chances for some hail to come in those storms. So just be aware of that. But the rest of it looks like it's all in the Atlantic. But you can see here any significant tornado perimeters, which factors in dew points, wind shear. You can see right here, it starts getting stronger right around that point. So right around 4 p.m., 6, 7 p.m., it still stays right along that edge. 4 to 7 this afternoon is really going to be a little dangerous. Right here at 4, looks really spiking right there for a chance for a tornado. As the rest of the day, it goes right along the coast all the way till 7 o'clock. 
Maybe Rod South Carolina late, 8 to 10. Then stays around the coast of North Carolina in the morning as it leaves for that chance. Now, this is when gusts. This isn't sustained winds. This is just what you got left coming all the way till 2 p.m. this afternoon. So when I check to see the rest of the track, you can see as it goes all the way till 10 o'clock tonight, a lot more damaging winds. It's going to build up more for South Carolina and North Carolina on the way out as you go through tomorrow morning. Going back 60 to high 60s, maybe even getting some 70s along the coast. So it is going to strengthen it back up on its way out. A lot of flooding, so just be careful. You're going to have a lot of flooding going on out there. If you're going to be driving around any of that, just watch where you're going because that's, that's a barrier <laughs> right there. You can see the legend right here is anywhere from 6 to 10 inches. It looks like it's heavier toward where it's going from Georgia all across South Carolina to the edge of North Carolina. That one little strip where it's got dangerous for that hurricane watch as well, and it's got a better chance for the tornadoes along the coast. This is where the storm is really going to strengthen right here. But just like before, I do have these links in the description for you guys. You can zoom them all the way in if you've never been here before. They're pretty cool links. You can go to HRR, you can go to Euro, GFS, NAM, ICON. You can check multiple models. The uh, HRR is the most accurate, especially if you use it within the first 24 hours. But it can do 48 and try and predict what comes a little bit later. Like a little hot spot for Florence, that's for sure. Be careful. All this flooding, guys. Also showing the winds is still going to be high in the 50s. Still got the 60s going across as your wind gusts. But these 50s are still going to continue to carry all the way into North Carolina. All the way to Greenville and Raleigh. It's going to start dying off with the 40s. But then you got going all the way towards Kitty Hawk because it goes a little stronger as it goes back on the water. See? See how it strengthens back up? But thank you so much for your time. God bless you all and your families. Thank you so much for your prayers. I really are the best community there. I just felt like I was just hugged by all kind of angels. It's unbelievable. Thank you all so much. I wish it back upon you right now so y'all be safe as well. Thank you. I know you're going to get power off, so I want to hear from you again. I want to make sure everybody's okay. And before you go on, I want to read real quick to you John 14, 6 through 21. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, and he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto the Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live. Ye shall live also. Amen. So remember, we have something big coming in the middle of September. We have something coming in the beginning of October, the first week. Thank you all for your time. All glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he always bless you and keep you safe every day in your life. Those of you that don't have power, I pray it comes on very quickly and you're able to hear my words right now to you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I'll try and do an afternoon update. I got to go make an appointment with a cardiologist. <laughs> it's not over yet, but I'm still going.